Welcome, lasses and laddies, to me, St. Patrick's Day, Donnybrook. And no, I am not going to speak with that accent throughout the whole video. Hey, how's it going, guys? I know it's been a while since I've done the last video. And I decided to do a really special occasion. As you can see, I'm wearing pretty festive wear. I'm staying indoors. I'm drinking this beer, which for some odd reason was 80% off. <coughs> My throat hurts. Regardless, I know it's uh, pretty scary out there right now. Uh, global situation, pandemic running rampant. Above all though, we must remain calm and we shall overcome. All you need to do is uh, take care of yourselves, take care of your loved ones, and don't let the sense of fear overwhelm your sense of humanity. We will overcome this. These are troubling times right now, but we will get over through these troubling times. So sit back, enjoy your green beer, hopefully you guys have green beer as well, and watch me as... I call this a Donnybrook because it's going to be a clash. It's going to be a clash of styles. Watch me as I open up that 2016 WWE Heritage Pack that I meant to open the last time. And watch me also open up some packs just came in. Two normal packs of that Topps 2020 Baseball and a fat pack of that Topps. Series 1 2020 Baseball. Um, I'd say we should probably mix and match it just just for fun. You know, this will probably be the last time I'm, you know, getting two different types of uh, sports together. Which, by the way, one of them is postponed for the time being. And another is actually still going on competing out of uh, an empty arena, if I recall correctly. Feel bad for Stone Cold because today was a uh, 316 day. Well, yesterday was 316 day because St. Patrick's Day now, technically, and I'm celebrating it to the fullest. Oh yeah, it was 316 day for Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he had to celebrate it out of an empty arena. What a damn shame. I don't know when. Uh, March 16 is going to run on a Monday night, and we'll be able to celebrate this again for Stone Cold. But, uh, hey, he made the best out of it. He read his little cue cards. What? And, yeah, the Raw was okay. So, what I decided on doing is I'm going to open up a pack of baseball cards first. And I'm going to open up the entire Heritage box. And then we're going to round it out again by opening the normal pack and the fat pack of baseball. So let's get right down to it. Here's my first pack of Topps 2020 Series 1 baseball. And here we go. And first off, Anthony Rendon, who is now an angel. Albert Almora, Josh Bell of the Pittsburgh Pirates, Jonathan Villar, Villar. Merrill Kelly, Ken Giles, giving that fist bump right there. Tyler Glassenau, great pitcher. You uh, say Kikuchi, who uh, hasn't lived up to his potential, really. Uh, old Yadier Molina. Hey, look, it's the fucking cheaters. The fucking cheaters. That don't deserve. This fucking lucky break. I can't believe it. I'm hoping fans remember this. I know it's scary times right now with the whole um, COVID-19. But 
come on, man. Once baseball season starts, you must not forgive these fuckers. Yeah, I mean, I hate them, but I, I wouldn't wish them to get sick through the disease, you know. It's, it's just want them to get hit by baseballs, like every game they play. Hey, the Washington Nationals. All right. World Series champions. I don't think they're going to repeat, honestly. Uh, Rogelio Armenteros of the Houston Nationals. Whatever. Hey, this looks like it's an insert. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero. Award hinges on award hinges on Vladdy. 2017 ESPN Prospect of the Year. Yeah, Vladdy Jr. Hey, a turkey red. Turkey red insert. Uh, the, they call these cards turkey reds because um, they used to, uh, they're, like the whole design of the card is based off this old uh, cigarette brand called Turkey Red that used to insert the, the like baseball player cards like back in the like the 1910s or whatever. But uh, yeah, so a Chris Sell Turkey Red, not bad. I like it. Uh, this is good. Hey, Yoan Moncada. Great player. And we're going to close it off with uh, Fran Mill Reyes. So out of all these cards, my favorite one, I got to go with the Turkey Red, man. Turkey Red are just cool. Um, I know I know uh, Chrome Turkey Reds exist as well. And, but I don't know if that's on the, on the top Chrome set. And, you know, if it's separate from, um, like, a, the base Series 1 set or... Uh-oh, uh-oh. I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Anywho, I gotta wash these cars, man. I, they can't. They can't get wet. Much more wetter than I could get. Ladies. Anywho, <laughs> I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around. Okay. Okay. Uh, so here's the WWE pack. I. Pre removed the wrapper because I, I didn't want you guys fucking watching me struggle to open a wrapper. So, okay, so here's the pack with the bonus relic card, which we'll save for later. And here are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs of heritage, which I guess they're based off of um, like the late 80s. WWF cards. So here, here's pack number one. Ooh, Summer Ray. She was hot. So that she's no longer in the company. And then we have the legend, Alundra Blaze Medusa, uh, who's known for throwing the women's championship in the trash. Uh, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, uh, 2016, so I think he was still alive, but uh, may he R.I.P. now. Uh, Heart Foundation. Shiki Baby! Humble. Hey, my tongue's turning green. Uh, fuck a Hulk Hogan. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better call somebody. Miss Elizabeth, Randy Savage's uh, wife. Well, until they got divorced. Hey, WCW All Star, Steven Regal, Lord Steven Regal. He is. A, he was very talented there. Uh, TV champion, if I remember correctly. Record breaker, The Ascension, ha holding the NXT Tag Team titles. Uh, longest I don't and to this day I don't think they've broken that record as a matter of fact I, I don't think maybe uh, undisputed era has came close but uh, yeah uh, I don't think that record is gonna be broken anytime soon and it's just a shame what happened to the ascension on the main roster just WWE can't build any stars turn back the clock 1993 to Tatanka so I guess this was Tatanka's 1993 card and I really like the turn back, the turn back the clock design. It's so reminiscent of a, uh, of a uh, top baseball. As a matter of fact, 
either tops or upper deck. I'm pretty sure tops does that with their baseball cards. Uh, favorite cards out of this pack will be ooh, go with a uh, Steven Rico because he's a man of class. Power of the punch. Hey, pack number two. <laughs> Nikki Bella. Eh, she's fan. I fancy her. Enzo Amore. AJ. Callisto. Luke Gallows. <laughs> you guys don't get that reference. I su highly suggest you guys look up uh, CM Punk Rap. It's a YouTube video. <laughs> Brie Bella, the other Bella twin. Eddie Guerrero. So is this like a... Do they include like a WCW star in like an every pack? It's pretty cool. Record breaker, yeah. Um, Ric Flair with the most WCW uh, championship reigns. And turn back the clock, 1992 to Ho! Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Uh, yeah, I gotta go with Eddie. Eddie. Favorite card from that pack. Let's go, let's go for pack number three. Jay Uso, Carmella, I, I love her, big fan of Carmella, oh NXT, wow, this is when she was with An Enzo and Cass, Rhett, the Hitman Heart, hey it's the honky tonk man, <laughs> legend Daniel Bryan, it's funny because uh, they called him a legend because he was forced to retire I believe that same year so I guess they thought he was never gonna wrestle again and he proved them wrong NWO all-star Stevie Ray record breaker wow Ric Flair once again with the most WCW United States title reigns in the United States I said it right right yeah okay and turn back the clock, Brett the Hitman Hart in 1995. And wow, Hitman in 95, he was still on fire. I believe he was out of the title picture at that time, but it did kind of uh it did kind of end with him winning the title from Diesel at the 1995 Survivor Series, which is a match that I would highly recommend. It was way ahead of its uh, way ahead of its time. It was a brawling affair. Um, it set up like main event matches throughout for the Attitude Era, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, it pales in comparison to the '96 Survivor Series match between Stone Cold and Bret Hart, but still, um, highly recommend just Bret Hart in Survivor Series in total. He always delivered. Obviously, we know what happened in '97, Montreal Screw Job. Okay. Yeah, but uh, Bret Hart, just the mid '90s Bret Hart was just insane. When it came to like putting on quality matches. So here we go. Pack number four. Uh, favorite card from this pack. I'm going to go with. Uh, with the. With the honky tonk man. The greatest intercontinental champion of all time. So. Let's go. Colin Cassidy. Who is no longer in the company. Bam. Bam! Bigelow. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, give me a hell yeah! Stone Cold Steve Austin. Sensational Sherry. Oh, she was amazing. She would, uh, she would take bumps that no other woman would take at her, like during her her day. You know, she would literally get like press slammed by like the Ultimate Warrior Hulk Hogan. She was great. Uh, I recently saw that one podcast episode uh, with Bruce Pritchard about her. And yeah, she, she, she's tough as nails. Pretty much tough as nails. Devon Dudley. Mr. Wall Street, a.k.a. Uh, IRS, a.k.a. Bray Wyatt's dad. So, uh, Record Breaker, Harlem, Harlem Heat, most WCW Tag Team Championships. Now that's something I didn't know. Figured it was one, like one of the horsemen... 
with Ric Flair that had like the most uh, WCW Tag Team China, cha Tag Team Championships title reigns. There you go. I corrected myself. And of course, 1991 Texas Tornado turned back, back the clock. Kerry Von Erich. It's uh, tragic what happened to him and his uh, and his brothers. Uh, the Von Erichs. Real sad. Um, there's a, uh, I think it's an urban legend about Kerry Von Eric. Uh, the, uh, he had a prosthetic foot and the urban legend goes that he, I mean, legit, he, uh, he had broken his foot on a motorcycle accident, but the reason he got a prosthetic was because, uh, the legend goes that when he was in a hospital bed, he got off and started walking on, on like the casted foot on the broken foot to reach for a hamburger and that just broke the foot even more and it had to get amputated and that's what led to his prosthetic boot so i mean it's an urban legend i don't think it's true to be honest with you but that's just uh, yeah it's, it's it's weird to be honest with you like, so, uh, how fate could decide things uh, favorite card, I'm going to go with uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin because it was 316 day a couple hours ago. What? It no longer is. What? And he deserves it. What? Okay. So, next pack I'm opening is uh, pack number five. Yeah, because it was seven. So, it's pack number five. Tyson Kidd, who unfortunately uh, his career ended when uh, with, uh, he... Um, I, it depends on who you ask. Uh, some say Samoa Joe didn't do the muscle buster effectively, which is a move that came out of an anime cartoon, by the way. Others uh, say that it was Tyson Kidd that didn't duck it, his head like well enough to get injured, but uh, his career is pretty much over. Uh, I really dug the guy. He had a great tag team with Cesaro. He loved cats, and yeah, it, it sucks. Young and I think if I remember correctly, Tyson Kidd was the last uh, person to be trained by uh, Stu Hart, uh, who was Bret the Hitman Hart's uh, father. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just uh, I don't I don't know what else I could say about that. Tragic. The Rock is next. Kevin Owens, Jack Thwaga, who is now Jake Hagar in AEW. Bray Wyatt. Whoa. Whoa, totally different looking than he does uh, than he does now uh, as a fiend. Zack Ryder, who uh, I've been enjoying his YouTube channel with uh, with the action figures. It's one of my favorite channels actually. Um, Trillionaire Ted, NWO All Star. Obviously, uh, it's a uh, Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. They gave him the Trillionaire uh, moniker as a kind of a take that to Vince McMahon because Vince McMahon at the time had these billionaire Ted skits trying to make fun of Ted Turner who was the owner of WCW yeah I've been watching too much wrestling throughout my life <laughs> and uh, record breaker I think it's came for the Royal yes it's came for the Royal Rumble eliminations I think that record has been bested now though by Roman Reigns possibly Either Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar. I think they've already broken that record. And turn back the clock to 1993. Sergeant Slaughter. And uh, the Sarge. Uh, yeah. I I always have a theory with Sergeant Slaughter. Because um, he left the WWE more or less due to this one controversy. He got pulled over with a Shiki Baby in a car. And then I think if I remember correctly, there was his toy line. G.I. Joe wanted him to like kind of anchor the toy line and anchor the cartoon and he signed he decided to go to gi joe route and to me i had always felt like wwe kind of got back at sergeant slaughter with the whole iraqi sympathizer storyline in 1991 uh kind of saying like look you were representing the u.s military forces brand um all this time and now um we're gonna kind of turn you into a bad guy that supports kind of the opposition the axis of evil and you have no say in this and you're gonna pretty much uh ruin any chance of you ever going back to like gi joe and and, and its line you know that's how i felt about that but i don't know man it's all just conspiracy black helicopters manga 
Uh, here we go with uh, pack number six. Andre the Giant. Oh, I, I just realized I haven't. I didn't pick a favorite card from this. I'm gonna go with a. Uh, we'll go with a uh, Zack Ryder. Cause I like his uh, his uh, rest, major wrestling uh, channel with the toys and stuff. It's it's great. Andre the Giant, Bruno San Martino, longest reign, WWF uh, championship reign of all time. Uh, I think it was like eight years. Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, Rob Van Dam, the whole effing show. Oh, baby. My love, my love. Trish Stratus, I, she already won. I mean, come on, man. Look at this. Randy Savage in his NWO Wolfpack colors. Uh, the Dudley Boys Most World Tag Team Championships reigns by a team. And 1995 British Bulldog turned back the clock. Pretty awesome year for the Bulldog, by the way. He put on great quality matches with Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. No, wait, 95 was with Bret Hart. 96 was with Shawn. But yeah, of course, my favorite card, though. Oh, Trish, Trish the dish, and the final pack of 2016 WWE Heritage, and here we go. And Rusev Machka, Luke Harper, who is no longer employed in WWE, Dolph Ziggler, who should have like never resigned. Alberto Del Rio, El Patron. You know? Hey, uh, can't hate on him, man. Can't hate on him. He, for a while, he had Paige. And was a bad influence on Paige. The fucker. But still. Bailey from NXT. And boy, did they ruin Bailey. Um, yeah. I, I just... It's, it's a shame. It's a shame. They just don't know how to push. Like, they don't know how to push on... Um, uh, NXT star sometimes. Jim the Anvil Nightheart, WCW Superstar. Now, uh, I mean, WCW All Star. Now, here's the thing though uh, Jim the Anvil Nightheart was actually in WCW both before Brett went and after Brett like, went due to the Montreal screw job. Uh, superstar Braun Strowman, Record Breaker. Whoa, I did not know this. Edge, who recently came back. Uh, at the Royal Rumble, recently re-debuted, who's going to have a match against Randy Orton at WrestleMania in front of a empty arena. Edge, most World Heavyweight Championship title reigns. And he had a great match with The Undertaker at WrestleMania 24. Much better than it should have been, really. Honestly, much better than it should have been. And it closed the show as well. You know, a lot of people would have said that Ric Flair against Shawn Michaels, and I touched my face. Oh no, I got coronavirus now. A lot of people have said that it should have been um, it should have been Undertaker uh, versus uh, Rick. F no, Shawn Michaels versus Rick Flair. That should have closed that show rather than Undertaker and Edge. But yeah, come on, like it was a great match, and I highly recommend people watch it. And I just realized Braun Strowman. It, it's a rookie card, so I got a, literally got a Braun Strowman rookie card. It's pretty cool. And 1992, turn back the clock. Roddy, Roddy, Pi Roddy, Roddy Piper. Piper is amazing, and. 1992 is a pivotal year for him because that was the year in which he won his only championship in WWE, which was the Intercontinental Championship, which he beat the Mountie in mid-February, only to drop it to Bret Hart in like late March. And that was his only championship reign. And to be honest, Piper was so amazing. He deserved more. He deserved to get more championship reigns. A world title reign or something but uh it was a different business back then uh vince didn't like to put the title on heels for long in in those times and uh yeah it was a baby face run promotion you know now we're going to our bonus relic card pack and i'm excited let's see what we get here <gasps> oh man undertaker commemorative patch now what does it commemorate really eh, it just commemorates the 2016 tops to WWE heritage so it's uh okay i would have preferred a relic like 
you know, like a piece of his hat or a piece of his jacket, you know, but uh, I guess the commemorative patch is okay, you know, it's Taker. So, um, and yeah, my favorite card from the last pack is Roddy Piper. So, so that does it for, uh, that does it for the, um, that does it for the heritage. So, we're gonna go back now, we're gonna make the transition. We're gonna make the transition, Adi, to... Baseball again. So here we go. Pack number two of 2020 Tops. Kirby Yates. He's not pink. John Gray. Michael Brousseau. Tyler White. Now, we traded for him. And, and him, I think at the same time, we traded for Christopher Negron. And Tyler White was okay. But, um, yeah. Whoa! Ho, 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 fuck yes! Fuck yes! I, I'm sorry. I just looked at the next card. I just looked at the next card. It's a fucking Dustin May fucking rookie card. Fuck yes! Yes! I know he hates to be called this, but uh, it's Ginger Guard. It's, you know, Big Red. Dustin May rookie card. Fuck yes. I think we already got my favorite card from the pack. You know, I don't think there's going to be a relic here anyways. Dan Vogelback. Hunjin Rio, who is no longer with us. Mike Clevenger, who is injured and we almost traded for him. Uh, may he uh, have a speedy recovery. Joey Votto. Steven Matz. The New York Mets. I have nothing against the New York Mets. I'm going to tell you guys a story. Um, uh, New York Mets actually were like one of my favorite teams growing up as a kid, and I didn't really know why. I attribute it probably for, to them being like the main bad guy team and like rookie of the year. But 96-97, uh, uh, or actually I might, might have something to do with the... No, it didn't have anything to do with the Piazza trade because Piazza was way later. Um, but yeah, I just re recall being a huge Mets fan. I, I guess maybe I like like the blue and orange color scheme at the time. Um, I'm, mind you, I'm talking about like like uh, 95, 96, 97 when you know I didn't really know much about teams. It's just like whenever we would play a World Series baseball on the Sega Genesis or the or the Sega Saturn or whatever, that's the team I would pick. I would pick the Mets, you know and uh, obviously, I knew about the Dodgers, and the Dodgers were a great team as well. And I, uh, I didn't really start following the Dodgers though, officially until like 2002, 2003, when it was like Sean Green, the Duca, Gagne, uh, Beltre, all those guys. So, you know, that's a little bit of a tidbit from me. Um, you know, Mets were my team, like my team that I didn't really follow, but that's the team I would like select when they were, whenever we would play like baseball games, you know, as a kid. The Minnesota Twins. Hey, and uh, at 35 years, uh, designated hitter Albert Pujols uh, card. I think this is the insert card. And uh, it's based off of 1985, I believe. All right. I'm, I'm fucking happy. I'm fucking stoked. So my turkey red card is Yasiel Puig. And I fucking miss having Puig on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And he, I, and to this, to my knowledge, he is still a free agent. And come on, man. Come on. Like, just sign him. We need him. You know, it's, it, we need him on the team. The wild horse, come on. Resign him. He's going to do great things for us. Imagine Puig, Bellinger, Betts on the same team. Oh, amazing. But yeah, Turkey Red, we also played. Oh, I got a good pack. Uh, Blake Trinan. Yeah, Blake Trinan. Great, great, great pitcher. If, uh, uh, if I recall correctly, uh, Oakland Athletics, I was he the pitcher that started the wild card game? I am going fuzzy on that, but, uh, but yeah, uh, 
Oakland A's, they should win the National I mean, the American League West. Um, I'm pulling for them to win the American League West, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Nick Markakis is our final card from that pack. And, boy, is it going to be tough for me to pick a favorite card. Uh, I'm probably going to go with either Puig, Pujols. I got to stay loyal to L.A., though. It's the Dustin May rookie. Uh, Big Red, I gotta, you know, Ginger Guard, I gotta say that's my favorite card from this pack. And finally, finally, we conclude this video with a fat pack opening. And the main difference between fat packs and regular packs is that regular packs have 16 cards, fat packs have 34 cards. And we'll see what we get. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed just me chugging fucking green beer all this fucking time. Alright, and here we go. And we got Ronald Acuna Jr. Mitch Garver. Chris Davis, who is batting a lot better now. <laughs> Ahmed Rosario, Andrew Kashner, Jay Bruce, Robel Garcia, Patrick Corbin, who is a beast as a, as a pitcher, Jesus, Jesus Aguilar, George Alfaro, Ben Gamble, Starling, Starling Marte, who I don't think is with the team anymore. I don't think he's with the Pirates anymore. I think he signed with uh, Arizona, if I remember correctly. Brandon Crawford, Austin Meadows. Fuck this guy, man. George Springer, fucking uh, home run. Hey, I finally got a card that I might be able to input, and that, but with any luck, due to this fucking virus, the fucking home run derby won't take place until, like, August. So, uh, fuck this guy. Damn cheater. Ooh, nice card. I like it. Uh, so, my, uh, 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 Pete Alonzo, and is it, yeah, it's based off of 1985. Uh, Pete Alonzo, I have his rookie card as well. Expect big things from this guy. Great player. So, Turkey Reds. I got Turkey Reds. So, I got uh, Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz, uh, Turkey Red. And uh, Whit Merrifield, Turkey Red card as well. Uh, Sandy Alcantar. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Yeah!